Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts, particularly the mini guys. Um, Amir, who's here. Hello guys. So he's been working on this mini and uh, you can see he's put the, the front subframe back in uh, with everything and uh, bolted it all back up. And the reason he's doing that is because you need to put the front subframe in when you're doing this front landing panel or this front panel because you need to make sure that it lines up here correctly um, otherwise you're going to get it out of out of uh, whack so what he's done is he's lined up everything everything fits nice so now what he's going to do is put this in place uh, and then we'll offer the wings up but as you can see if you look inside the subframe's got to be um, sandblasted and painted like the other one but you can see down the side the gap is very good hopefully that will show up you can see the gap's good there and same on the other side Everything seems to sit quite well. That piece we'll do later, and we'll put it when we put it on its side. We can put it in, in fact, we know we can't put it on its side, but we have to uh, repair this and then bring this up because it's going to be a left hand drive model. So it's actually going on this side, isn't it? Steering, yep. yeah, it's going on this side, but we'll repair that anyway. It's easy enough to get into. So he's going to get all this lined up so you can see all this will come together. And, uh, and as you can see, this is an older style Mini, uh, the radiator, not the electric fan style. Um, this is an 84. Yes, it's an 84. That, that one over there is, the, is a 94, and this is an 84 Cooper. This was the last of the carbureted versions. They went on to the MPI or the SPI uh, after this one. I think 84, 80, whatever. I'm not sure on the date. Anyway, but as you can see, it all fits on very nicely. It's going to be a nice fit on it. You can see there, this is a, um, I don't believe this is an original panel uh, from the car when we, when, we, when we bought the shell. Uh, I don't think this is an original panel. It looks too good. It's in too, too good a condition. So I think it had been replaced at some point. So it has been salvaged. And then we'll get all these done and again, lead load everything so it looks nice and uh, yeah so this is what he's going to do now he's going to put this in place and then we'll go from there but make sure you definitely use this subframe mounting guys because otherwise you go putting it in and it's slightly out and then you'll have real problems getting the subframe in and it won't be square if you don't do that so that's it for now and we're working on the mini so this side is completely done now it's all welded in um, the, the front was welded in first, the subframe is obviously still in there, we'll take that out now. So the front was put on, the wing, this wing and that wing is going to be put on in the morning. Um, and uh, we need to do a bit of work on the bonnet, unfortunately there's a crease in it and a split, which is kind of standard with the minis unfortunately, because they're only a single skin. This is where they always go, right here in the centre. And uh, what I think I might do is actually try and make a bracing for it. You can see it's bent there a little bit as well. So I think probably what we'll do is make a bracing for this. And uh, try and help it a bit. So, as you can see, as I say, it's all in. It's all, uh, it's all welded here. The lines are really nice. Um, I'll bring the camera and actually show you this. But that side is only uh, clipped on at the moment. So we'll get all this finished off, repair this uh, bulkhead section in the front here, and then put it back onto the rotisserie. And what I want to make this video really about is, is about this style of rotisserie. Now I've, I've obviously <coughs> made the same style that people can buy, um, and obviously it just pivots in a slightly different way because I already have such a good uh, you know, system. The rotisserie is perfect for the XKs, the E-types. You could use it for any car. So I wanted to adapt the system that Sean, Ben, uh, DB, and I think a few others that have it as well. And basically what I want to say about the, the jig is, is in, inherently the jig is fine, but it has some limitations and um, which is something you really need to think about, especially when you start cutting away. I mean, you've got to remember, 
This is a monocoque construction or unibody as they call it in America, um, where, where basically it's, all, it's pressed out the bottom but it's welded together. Um, and so the biggest problem with, with this style of jig is, is that you're holding the front bulkhead and the rear tubs or the rear arches and all the rot in minis is normally in the floors, the sills, the, the, especially the outer sills, and, and the, the um, rear boot floor. And that's where most of the rot is. So consequently, it's the centre where the issue is, or it's going to be most of the time. And the roof is not strong enough to support all that when you start cutting out a great, great chunks of it. So my suggestion would be is use you can use that jig by all means, but I would reinforce it with a tubular and basically put a tubular when you I'll, I'll show you what I mean. This this is just a piece of this is a stainless steel pipe, but it'll give you an idea. When the jig is back on, if you were to put the tubular through there and then book it onto and then and then use it a, a, a basically another tube where the tolerance is good and you can make a locking nut on it and put the tube through and then bring it, you don't have to go right through the back of the car but use either the seat belt anchors up in the corner or the seat belt anchors down at the bottom or the companion bins and you could make a piece of metal to go across that to support it um, and if you're taking the companion bins out make it, make it the other ones, make it the, the two in the back so I'll pick the camera up and I'll show you exactly what I mean um, because what's happening is, is um, uh, I don't want to preempt it, but but Sean uh, sent me a preview of a, of a video he's going to put up, and I think he's putting it up on Friday, where he's had the same same kind of issues with doors and things, um, and so you need to be very careful about what you take out and what you don't. And I know that DB is going to has the same type of um, uh, jig, so what I'm saying is if you do have this, you know, be warned that. The fact that the front bulk and the rear bulk is secured is not enough. It's not strong enough to hold it, especially when you start cutting floors out, sills, A panels, whatever. Um, and the style that I made, I built myself, that I gave to Alex, is it, far superior in the way that it goes into the car. Um, and so, because you've got no strength here whatsoever. So, I'm going to turn the camera off now and I'll, and I'll point out some of the points where you could secure it. So you basically you use the same uh, jig, so you use the air rotisserie but adapt it slightly with a small amount of money, a tubular inside which will make the complete difference to the, to the, to the car. It'll stop it dropping, hanging and as I say, uh, uh, Sean, Sean C, he's, he'll put a video up on Friday where he's showing and explaining some of these problems. So. Um, I don't want to alarm anybody, but if you start cutting too much out, you're going to have some problems. And we've had that problem already. And I wouldn't have picked it up if I hadn't uh, given the, the original jig away, because I wouldn't have, know, I wouldn't have known. Uh, it's an idea I came up with, and I thought, this will work, and, and, and it did work well on two minis. But then after making this one, I've realised there's some inherent issues with it. So, I'll catch you in a minute. Oh. Like you were saying, so you can see the back of the mini there. Now the obvious places to do it is, um, you can see up there, there's a very strong, it's got a, a double skin on it, um, very strong hole there for the, or thread there for the uh, seat belts. Obviously the same both sides. And then down at the bottom you've got seat belt anchors as well there. <clears throat> so you could actually adapt and make something to go across, something to go across this way or across that way. There's many different ways you could do it, um, and as long as it supported it. Uh, the way I had it on, on the one Alex has got now is I did it through these companion boxes, but these companion bins. But if you were taking them out, I mean, you could actually make something that went across like I did, uh, but even even come up even into this position if you wanted to weld them across, or possibly clamp around the back somewhere, you know. But definitely a tubular. You can see this is not. The the tube, but some, there we go. some kind of tubular coming through there is definitely the way to go, and obviously you want it as central as you possibly can, um, so that it senses it. Um, but this is the way to go. Um, this is just a piece of stainless, but a piece of scaffolding tube. 
any tube metal will hold the weight and the only SSA you only need to bring it back here or, or even to the back here I don't think there's any need to cut a hole in it and join it but it would even make it even stronger and it's easy enough to repair if you if you were to cut a hole and just weld it back in again so but don't rely on this jig and you can see this is exactly the same design pretty much um, as, as they've done it and there's the front bit and you can see that apart from the actual swivel part of it it's pretty much the same thing and in fact this one's slightly longer because on the original one it only comes with that bottom hole there that one this is actually longer so uh, yeah something to be so um, on this one particularly I'm going to put some I don't need it now because of the strengths back in it but I would put some gussets on the back there uh, just coming up and also I would put a bar across there to stop this flexing out but uh, apart from that so yeah um, but as you can see there's the little subframe in very nice uh, very nice setup as you can see it's nice and level either side so this is all in this wing now and uh, it's quite a nice fit. You can see there, and hopefully you can see them. It's quite a nice fit all the way down. I hate these, and what we do is we clean them down and then lead load across because they, they, they look horrible. And you only see it underneath the ring there, the chrome ring, but it just looks horrible. So we, we clean them out and then lead load everything all the way down. So, and then obviously, then we will cut the arch out, put the uh, stiffener in it, the arch stiffener in it. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's really it for today. Um, just be careful with these with these jigs. You know, I, I had no idea that if you if you start cutting a lot of stuff away, you shouldn't anyway. You should always try and do one side at a time. But the problem with minis is, like anything, like any car, you take one piece out, and then the next piece needs to come out to, to get to the next piece, and so on and so forth. And you can weaken them quite quite sort of dramatically. I mean, you know, the Mini is made up of, of what, um, uh, what is it, six parts. You've got, the, you've got the front, the rear, the two sides, left and right, the roof, and the floor pan. And, and that was the reason they, they were made so cheaply, because they were very easy to seam well like this. They had a roller well that went down there and seamed them. So yeah, if, you, if you're going to use one, <coughs> think about maybe doing some bracing, especially if you're taking a lot of stuff out. If you were Taking a whole floor out like uh, Alex is doing, you, you definitely need to brace inside, and especially across the way, which Alex has got one across here, which will keep it correct. But also I'll put one across the top as well. Anyway, that's for you guys to decide, but it's just a, a bit of a warning so that you know. And uh, I mean, I could even write to the guys that make them and suggest that they do an add-on, but they'd probably say, well, you know, they make enough money out of selling the jigs anyway, so they're not interested. But We'll see, you never know, somebody might mention it. So anyway, usual situation, stay, stay safe, keep the faith and enjoy the hobby. Take care, bye.